Hey guys, it's, it's Esther and Elijah. Elijah, and you're on Young and Deplorable. We are. We are live in Tulsa. We are so live in Tulsa, day before the Trump rally, and we're out here camping out. We're so excited. We're going to show you everything that's going on right now. All right, so this is the front of the line right here. These people have been here for a couple of days. They've been here since Monday. So right now, the line goes down this block, down the next block, and then right down there, you can kind of see where we're close to the end of the line, it's just right down there. So right now there's there's probably, uh, I'd estimate, uh, two to 300 people here right now in line right now. Uh, the BOK Center is right down there. Right here is gonna be the, the gate where they're gonna let everybody in at. Originally, they uh, said that uh, originally people were lining up right outside the BOK Center and then uh, just because there were some threats of people coming and maybe having some violent intentions they moved the uh, campers way out past it and they put up these barricades just to keep everybody safe there are some like news stories going around right now that is saying that anybody camping out is going to be like arrested um, if they don't leave and that's totally not true it's um, it's uh, it's just that we had to go somewhere a little bit farther from the BOK Center. So we're totally legal. There's no threat of being arrested right now or anything like that. And everybody's spirits are very high. And uh, yeah. So. Yep. So here's the front of the line. We'll walk down. We'll walk down the line here to show you the whole line right now. Uh, so of course, the, these people have been here for a couple days. If you're just now joining us, we're at the Trump rally in Tulsa. This is coming at you live from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're right here outside the BOK Center. There. All these Trump supporters out here. Yes, At least a couple hundred people here who have been here for uh, anywhere from one to five nights. And uh, like their spirits are not dampened at all. I know it was very hot before we got here. Thankfully, like the weather has cooled down. We had to go through a little bit of rain a little bit ago, but the weather is just gorgeous. and. Uh, people are getting excited. You can tell we're just a day away because uh, just the energy is uh, is uh, hyping up like crazy. So the mayor did uh, originate. Somebody was asking, did the mayor set a curfew? There is. Uh, they did set up the barricades right outside the BOK for that purpose. Yes. But there's uh, a curfew that is just around the box center. All there. It is not um, extended out to this area, so we are totally within our rights and following mayor's directives by camping out at this area. And like I said at the beginning of the live, there is no threat of arrest, and we're not breaking any rules by yeah, being out here right the, now. The mayor was afraid because a lot of the, the BLM people said they were going to be rioting and stuff, and so he wanted to protect the safety of everybody in Tulsa. So he set up an extended barricade. Usually, they'll already barricade off you know, a couple of blocks, like right here. Yeah, we have, there's many barricades set up all around the city. There is one major street that's still open that happens to be the street we're camping on. So we're hoping maybe they might block that one off pretty soon. Um, here, show them all the, the So uh, cool we got we got some, some cool we got some merch, merch people out here. If you, if you need to get, get you some shirts. Everybody's buying shirts. flags and stuff like that. So it's a uh, crazy amount of red, white, and blue out here. Plenty of merch. Here's the, here's the, the first block uh, of the people to it. We got we got an, the other people all, all the way down this aisle here. We got here about uh, 9:30, and the line has about doubled since then. We're out on the street now, so I hope you can still hear us. Uh, all the all the traffic. There's a lot of people that drive by. People wanting to voice their opinions, uh, whether good or bad, from their cars. So we get a lot of action on this street. So it's kind of a neat place to camp out. At the same time, you're just praying for your safety at the same time. Because uh, So we're, we are hoping that'll get barricaded off sometime soon. We're coming up to our campsite here. You go ahead and reverse it over there. All right. So this is our campsite right here. Uh, we got our campsite all set up. Faith, she's Elijah's sister, and this is my dad. And we Trump! Got, we got a couple uh, tents out here, and we got right under the shade. We felt very blessed to find this spot. And uh, so we've been camping out here. Just a little rain earlier, but the weather is amazing. It's not too humid. It's nice and cool. It's just great. a great day to be out here. Great day okay. to be an American. Absolutely. Amen. So if you're just joining us, we're here at the Trump rally in Tulsa. We're coming at you live 
uh, right outside the BOK Center. I'm showing you the line right now, how many people there are here. Uh, as you can see, we're almost to the almost to the end of the line down here. Yeah, this area is all uh, grown since uh, for since just a few hours ago. Uh, people. So there's probably there's probably uh, like like five to ten people that come every 30 minutes or so. We're assuming that just after about work times to ends tonight is when another major rush will come of everybody left who's planning to spend the night, and then of course tomorrow morning is when we're going to start seeing a lot of the major action, and so that's when we're really going to start filming and um, having some fun with that. So so, so make, make sure you go ahead and like our page so you can keep uh, follow us when we go live. Yes, like your we'll page do several lives live. while we're we'll, out here. We'll, we'll post this for later, so if you want to go back and watch the whole thing, you can totally do that. Um, or just stay for next time, and the line will be way longer by next time for sure. Okay, so this so right is, the here is, here. is the last bit of line. So if if you want to if you want to get a good spot, you gotta come out. Gotta now. come now. Gotta come now. These are all still really awesome spots. This is the first few hundred people that will get in tomorrow afternoon. So it it's, it probably grows about you have like five to ten people every thirty minutes or so. Yeah. So it's probably going to really multiply as soon as work gets out here. Uh, we'll walk down uh, to the barricade down here. You can see where they're starting to uh, bring in most likely lighting and stage supplies and stuff like that down at the BOK Center. And this is also, I would assume, the area where Trump's motorcade will come through tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we won't be out there to see that um, because we will be in the BOK Center with really awesome seats, we hope. And it's just really exciting. It's, I got to tell you guys, if you were thinking about coming down, you need to come down. You this need to come down. It's amazing. Like for, everybody, everybody out here is like so friendly. They are so like, friendly. You just you just walk by. Like if you have a MAGA hat on, you have an instant friend. It's like yes. it's like if you drive a Jeep. It's like if you have a you know your favorite you know team player hat on. You have an instant friend with everybody. People walking around asking like if anybody needs water bottles or food, um, and you know people passing out literature everyone with their various conservative sites and stuff and just talking about that we had a guy come down and sit with us and talk about some conspiracy theories <laughs> for a while and that was great and so uh it's just great a lot of political conversation and everybody's just really really friendly there's a couple of people out who are here to stir up a little something but right now the majority is is just very positive and even a lot of little kids out here my brother is out here and he's 11 and you know it's just it's it's been a great experience so far it's gonna rain a little bit tonight but hey <laughs> Little water never hurt anybody yep, too much. Yep. So, so uh, we're if you're just joining us, we're live at the BOK Center. It's right back there. Uh, we're live in Tulsa for the Trump rally. There's a, all the the trucks down there uh, getting the stage set up and everything, and they have the uh, uh, barricade up right here down the street right here they're they're pushing the block back so then because that's where there's a curfew at so you don't want to go over there you can uh, see down here um, a little interesting different side of things from um, just all that amazing support we just showed where down here some business uh, one of the large businesses down here has boarded up all of their windows um, you know they could just being being safe I don't know uh, what they're expecting tonight but there definitely is a little bit of an air of uh, of just apprehension and wondering what people could try to do tonight so you can kind of see down there where they boarded up their windows and they're just getting ready for anything but um so we're we're, we're live we're out here. here in faith hoping that it's <laughs> gonna be safe tonight yep. and trusting our police uh there's plenty of you know police walking by and and, and private security that are here as well hey leave it leave a leave a thumbs if you back the blue yeah support the blue the blue line uh so we're out here at the the trump rally is going to be tomorrow the the gates uh, to get inside they say opens at three. Well, the gates to get uh, inside but they might, the immediate BOK yeah, center. Yeah, they at might 10. they might open a little bit sooner to get uh, inside the, the barricade say, at ten. There is still time to get out here and get inside and get good seats if you came out at this point. We weren't sure. We came out here nice and early this morning because we were rather safe than sorry. But there's still only a few hundred people out here. I think most people are going to really try to get here early in the morning, and that will be when you don't want to get here because you're not yeah. going to be guaranteed a seat and tomorrow it's going to go crazy guys so if any of you are like thinking about coming out here grab a tent and a sleeping bag and come join us because there's still plenty of room but there's tons of people out here and it's it's just and it's if you're great. worried about running out of energy there's so much energy out here like all you got to just do is walk is around yell maga and like <laughs> you get you get you know just powerful and it's, just it's amazing the friendliest people I know we get we get called a lot of names for being you know haters and it's just amazing to be around this and see people of all different backgrounds and races and they're all getting along amazingly and, and uh, 
it's, it's a really sweet thing to see. We, there was a prayer meeting earlier, and um, so that was nice to, to go and watch and kind of be a part of a little bit. We got the end of that, and uh, yeah. So I just wanted to show you show you all the line, what we got going on right now. If you're just joining now, we'll show you one more view, kind of just of, of the typical look of one of the corners here. Most people out here with umbrellas. We do have a threat of rain tonight, so people are wanting to stay dry. But the weather is amazing out here tonight. Yes. Absolutely couldn't have asked for better temperature. So we're here at the end of the line. It just wraps around a couple of block, blocks right now. Uh, a few hundred people out here right now. So if, if you're planning on coming out, now's the time. Uh, you know, in, in five or six hours, the, the line might be halfway around the city, so <laughs> you might want to uh, get out soon. Yes, please come join us. Uh, I guarantee you this is going to be the political event of the year, decade, I don't know, but it's going to be really awesome, and uh, um, you just don't want to miss it. If you live anywhere close, try to get out here tonight, because it's just, it's pretty awesome. So if you join us, uh, go ahead and like our page so you can follow us. Yes, please we're gonna, like we're our gonna page. Do, we're going to do live streams uh, throughout the day. We'll do some live streams throughout the day. And tomorrow, uh, we'll, we might, we'll probably even go and talk to a few people. Yes, we want to get some interviews with people. But go like our uh, channel too. It's pretty new. We just started this platform. I have a couple videos myself that I posted on there previously. But as far as this being a joint platform for us, we are just getting that going. And this event is kickstarting that for us. So we'll be rolling out uh, rally content. So if you want to see like real eyewitness stuff, we're not going to exaggerate anything. We're not going to sugarcoat anything. We're just going to show you what's going on. And so uh, go like Young and Deplorable on YouTube, like our page, and that's where you're going to get your firsthand account and on Facebook of here. this event. All righty. Thank you. We'll see you in a little bit. Thanks Bye. for joining us. Bye.